um, uh, spent a lot of time with data in player health and safety. So we started to uh, strain gauge uh, various parts of the equipment. So we put strain gauges, which are little devices that measure force, in the mouth guards. We're piloting it with a team. And we're also piloting uh, strain gauges in the surface, in the bottom surface of the cleat. And so they step onto a little pad before they step on the field. And these are the kinds of things. So with the mouth guard, we have like hundreds of thousands of data points on the forces being felt there so that we can try now to correlate various plays with how much force was felt in the mouth guard, which you know you can approximate for how much force is generally in the upper body area. And it helps to provide a little bit of quantitative backup to diagnosing uh, upper body injuries and concussions in particular. On the lower extremity injuries, which um, are not to be uh, ignored in our work. They're the most lost time injuries uh, for football players. And so we have come to realize now through data, and we are thinking we might want to partner with soccer teams and others because there's a lot of data that we get, and it points to the interface between the field and that cleat. So the structure of the cleat uh, under carriage, and we're working with Nike on this, and what the turf is. And we're doing a lot of work I think about two thirds of the fields that we have now are grass and then the other third are artificial turf and understanding what's the best um, sort of inter interaction and the best combination of cleats and turf to lower the probability of injury. So these are, you know, it's not rocket science and you're not gonna predict the world, but these are things that are making the game way better because when you're superstars, we all know, we saw last year when you're superstars, are on the rink, are on the court, or on the field. Your fans are watching and they're engaging.